WBA bantamweight champ Johnny Tapia puts his title on the line against former North American boxing champ and now ranked number two by the WBA, Pauli Ayala. Also, WBC lightweight champ Stevie Johnston will be in action, defending his title for the first time since he recaptured it last February. He'll be facing undefeated Argentinian Aldo Rios. The battle of the big men. This one should really rock the house. Butterbean defends his IBA super heavyweight title against the man who took on Mike Tyson, Hurricane Peter McNeely. Also on the card, former IBF junior middleweight champ Yuri Boy Campus looks towards another title shot. And the queen of the four rounders, the beautiful Mia St. John. It should be an exciting night of boxing, so don't miss it. Order it on pay-per-view. Before Ricky Martin, Johnny Tapia lived the vida loca, or crazy life. Losing his mother at an early age and bouts with drugs and alcohol almost KO'd this talented fighter out of Albuquerque, New Mexico. But Tapia got his life back on track, and following a four-year absence from the ring, he captured his first world title in 1994. Then three years later, he became the king of Albuquerque when he defeated fellow resident Danny Romero capturing his second world title. Now he's ready to defend his third world title, this one as a bantamweight. What's made him so successful as of late, a change in lifestyle, good training, hard work, and the presence of his wife, Teresa. Together, they are a lethal combination. Johnny Tapia didn't have much of a childhood. He didn't have time to grow up. At a time when most kids are getting to know their parents, Tapia lost the one woman who was the center of his life. I lost my mother at the age of 1975. Uh, she was raped, she was murdered. Uh, took a lot away from me, took my life. And from there, it was an uphill climb. Tapia has had his share of battles in and out of the ring. His toughest opponent has been the drugs and alcohol addiction he's had to fight. But now he's a changed man. And in his corner is the woman who is now the center of his life, his wife, Teresa. I was lost when I was away. I was, you know, I had three and a half year layoff. Uh, I did everything basically you can do. And I died and came back. But when I met this young, beautiful woman, Teresa, uh, she swept me off my feet. And the only way to have her was to be clean and, and have love. And she loved me and held me and said I was a good guy. This combination has proved to be a lethal one in and out of the ring. Teresa is not only his wife, but his manager. You think that I'm tough. When you do business with my wife, she's a lot tougher. And there's nobody else that would take care of you like the way your wife would. And it's been proven. I'm a three-time world champion. I'm 46 and 0. What I enjoy the most out of managing is knowing is just knowing that Johnny is getting paid what he's worth and seeing him, you know, just accomplish great things in the lighter weight. I think that Johnny is opening new doors and I feel that that is really going to be uh, a huge development later on down the road for other people trying to break in. Teresa says that there are many times when business and family emotions get in the way and when it does happen, she knows which hat she has to wear. When Johnny's fighting, I'm definitely a manager. I, um, Johnny reacts a lot after, you know, whatever emotions that I portray during a fight, he will react to those emotions. So I have to be very businesslike and don't, I can't show any emotion. Inside I may be in, you know, turmoil, I may, I, I may see him cut and the wife part would, you know, wants to go in there and, you know, tell him to do a different job. But the management part just is able to watch what he's done and, you know, see if he isn't doing something right. Then we go home and we talk about it. Three world titles and undefeated. Tapia still wants more and knows there are those who want him, namely, Pauli Ayala. For Tapia, each opponent represents a personal vendetta. Well, me fighting Pauli Ayala, there's no difference. It's just another guy that's trying to take food away from my table. I'm going to go after him. I'm going to be right there where he wants me, and it's time to get it on. Tapia is the type of fighter who is all ready to do battle and says an opponent like Ayala is made to order. I fought lefties quite a bit. Uh, they're made for me, I'm made for them, so I will be ready when the time comes. After this, what's next? No one knows, not even Tapia. It's the only way he knows how to live. Getting up in the morning, training, 
fighting, uh, keeping it one day at a time, forgetting yesterday because it's gone, don't think of tomorrow because it never comes. Living for today. With his maturity, Tapia has become a more patient fighter. In his last five fights, Tapia has averaged a little more than nine rounds about. But that doesn't mean he won't be looking for a quick night's work. You can expect Tapia to jump on Ayala once the bell rings. Still ahead, we'll speak with Polly Ayala, who says Tapia is in for the surprise of his life. And a little later, the clash of the big men, Butterbean and Peter McNeely. And from